Good morning, you guys. Today I was asked to sit down and have a meeting with someone that I grew up admiring. He was someone in our community that was such a huge example to all of us. He was um, he was one of our church leaders. He was a very successful businessman. He had a really nice family that we, like my family, kind of looked at their family growing up, just kind of loving them. And anyway, so time has gone on and he requested to have a meeting with me and all my sisters and we're pretty excited to sit down with him. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit nervous, especially trying to pick out something to wear and I thought the coat that Joel got me for Christmas would be perfect. So, I paired just black on black is kind of my go-to and I did put some, oh, where am I, where am I? Some red boots on to go with my coat. So, that's the outfit that I'm going with today. <clears throat> trying to muster up my courage today. We have got to clean this mirror, Joel. It's so dusty. We got to where we were going and my mom was texting us like a mad woman, just like ding, 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 all these texts. And then she's like, is anyone getting these messages? And we were all like, mom, we're driving. So she's sitting here sending me all these pictures of who we're going to be meeting with. His name is Alan Hall. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna show you what my mom is sending me. These are the pictures my mom is sending me. This is a picture of him when he was little. It's a book written about him. These are all news articles that he was in. I think one of these, he was on the same page as President Bush. Yes, there is his wife. Um, his name is Alan Hall with his wife and then George Bush. Wait, yeah, George Bush. Um, and then she's sending me all these other articles that he was written in. So I think my mom is very excited for us to meet with him. My dad actually served um, in the state presidency. So um, President Hall was our state president and my dad was one of his counselors for about nine years. And so they worked together and um, my parents just really, really love him. So look who just is jumped in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so, in case people don't know, because there are truly some people that don't know, this is my sister Ellie, she lives by me, and then several hours away, these two live next to each other, <laughs> and this is Ruby and Julie, hey guys. Ah! and we are all on the socials, so I'll put them in, <laughs> so I'll put them in the description below for you guys. Are you guys feeling good about the meeting? Totally! I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I always knew Alan Hall is the dad who let me hang out with his group on the field Aww. trips. Aww. We would go that on field so trips, sweet. and I always felt awkward, like, I don't know who to go with and Alan would be like hey you can sit with us for lunch Aww. hey you can come with us oh he's just a good guy I just knew him as the nice guy on the field trips oh that's cute. fun okay so you were telling me your experience like oh um when I was in hair school I remember him walking in and being like oh, that's him and he was there with like the committee or something because he does a lot for the Ogden community oh yeah and so I just he just is a well-known Man. He was like, we all have an experience then. So what's yours? I went to the doctor's office and he was sitting in the waiting room waiting for his dad while he was in an appointment. Oh, and so we sat by each other in the waiting office and just chatted, small chat. I was like 17 and remember thinking, this is a big deal. I'm just like comfortable sitting next to this like cool guy. Yeah. I remember going to, so I signed up to do FBLA, which is Future Business Leaders of America. Wasn't gonna go into business. I only went because there was a cute boy there. Yeah. And at the end, there was a keynote speaker, and Alan Hall stood up to talk, and I was like, "What's Alan Hall doing at a business?" <laughs> Why is he here? And I went home and I was like, Mom, Alan Hall spoke at this business retreat. And she goes, yeah. Oh, he's a businessman. Um, yeah, he's donated to all the Ogden hospitals, all of the... Um, like the Ogden like High School. Ogden High School, Ogden Colleges. There's like buildings named after him. Um, I'll tell you my experience with him. And I'm going to try so hard not to cry because I can already like feel it. So the only time we ever went boating is when... 
um, people in our ward, if they had boats, they would take the youth on boating activities. That was the only time I ever went boating. And one time we went on this, um, like a stake-wide youth activity and President Hall took all of us, and I remember we went and got food afterwards, like a, an entire lobby full of kids, and he just said, order whatever you want, as much Aww. as you want, and he paid for it. Oh and I, my gosh. And I remember thinking, why is he paying for all of us? Like, how can he do that? That's so cool. And then, fast forward to Joel and I working in with the youth, um, I never would have thought to do something like that for the youth had I not had those experiences myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, our youth was telling us how they'd never been boating and how like the budgets are super super tight and so for the last several years Joel and I have taken the kids to Bear Lake and we've taken them boating all day and then we take them to LeBeau's and oh we tell them gosh. that they can get whatever they want and, and you always pay yeah and That's Joel so and I cute. cover that for the kids and they know it and they're all they're just there's like a whole different like relationship between us now because they know that we love them and want to take care of them. And that's I think that's so the vibe between President Hall and all of us is not even just this very high power businessman that he is. It's just he loves us. He does. He's taught us how to what it looks like to live a prosperous, humble life. That gives. That gives. Yeah, that gives. That and all of us have talked about that before. Don't you guys think mm -hmm. that we've all talked? It's like... And I wish that you guys could all see the givingness of each of my sisters. Like I've watched each of them give so much. And that's that was our goal. It's because we watched our mom mm -hmm. our yeah. whole life give. Yeah. And that's what I want. I want to be successful so that I can give back. I agree. And you already do. You already do though, I feel like. But more success means you can give more. <laughs> I want more success. That's true. <laughs> so we're having lunch here at the Union Grill and Union Square is this area around here. So apparently he is the vice chair of the Union Station building. And I believe this is the building that we're going into, so. The second he pulled our chair out for us, a whole table said, President Hall, we want you over here. <laughs> so he's chatting over there for a minute. Well, I didn't film anything of what we did because we came home and immediately just got to work and started brainstorming and anyway, we came up We're with so some excited. came up with some fun ideas. If truth be told, if I'm being honest, I was very nervous going into 2020. I know I've talked about that on Instagram a little, but I just felt like there's so many what ifs. There's so many like could be and I think I just it was just daunting to even think about having something big to look forward to and this just fueled my fire I'm like okay I can do it you put one foot in front of the other <laughs> she gave us all of our assignments <laughs> yep I, I yep everyone has assignments we're gonna go home and we're just gonna get to work and do our thing so <laughs> welcome home from work dad <laughs> did you bedazzle your camera yes that oh, way, when I get, likes that. I know, that way when I get in front of, um, when everyone else houses. has families, you know, <laughs> oh, let me put this up. Oh, you can't see, but there's some up here, too. Hi. Hi. Nice coat. Huh? Nice coat. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hi, lady. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Here. Hi, there. Well, then, you and Olivia are going to go to work. Oh, wait, tonight? Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Tonight? What time? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, we need to get that set up, don't we? I need to get Olivia's gizmo watch taken in and set up at the store, but I just, today is the first real day and I just didn't obviously have time today. We'll make sure to get it figured out for tomorrow. I was waiting if we could spend my $5. Remember what I said? If you ask to spend your money, I'm gonna take your money away. Um, I told the kids we are not spending. Um, there's been a change in this. So I believe this is a boil. And it's actually getting gone. I feel like it. Mm, it feel I like, don't think feel so. Feel it, feel it. Co or Boston let me squeeze at it the other day after I got a hot washcloth on it. And I, it looks like it's getting a little, it's changing. It's I'm not going to say it's better. It's yeah. Yeah. So I think it's not necessarily a boil. No. I don't think it's a boil, I think it's a cyst. And a cyst has like a sack around it. 
that you have to peel the sack out. Okay. Otherwise, it'll just fill back up. But a cyst, you can like squeeze, pop, and it'll yeah, be gone. I don't want to do it. I know. I have an appointment with the um, dermatologist. I was going to attempt to do it myself because yeah. my brother-in-law Landon was like, ah, just pop it, you'll be fine. So I tried and mm -mm. I just heard Joel on the phone. <laughs> so they're gonna go to the laundromat and fold laundry. Gotta work at six, guys. All right, you gotta work hard. Now remember, do your very best work. So you gotta work really hard but really good, right? Lady! Olivia, did you hear that? Are you excited to go work and make more money? Yeah. We exchanged the kids' piggy banks the other night, which consolidated. was consolidated. We consolidated it. Did we get that money put in our bank? Mm -hmm. Nice. And it was about what we swapped. Yeah, we kind of round, we definitely rounded up, and so the kids kind of little extra. Yeah. Cody has the most money of everybody. <laughs> Surprisingly, Boston and Olivia have about the same. <laughs> it's been a, the end of a long day. Did you record it all today? Oh, okay. Real quickly, what did you guys do today? Um, worked. Ainsley's. Oh. Friends. The kids came home. I told them they had to be home at 4.30 to go to work. And I've been working. Jared and I got together for a little bit and worked. And just busy, busy day. Oh, I... May have went in to the real estate agent again. And put another offer on? I'm gonna be furious if you did. The same. Okay. Because the initial offer that we okay. on that, and? they backed up, so we just put in the exact same offer. Kind of seems like something you'd talk to your spouse about, but it's fine, I guess. Rules don't apply to Joel. What? <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to close the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you would like to subscribe to our channel, please do. I know a lot of people don't get notified, um, even if they are subscribed. So if you want to be notified of our videos, make sure to click the bell underneath the subscribe button, and it will should notify you of our videos. Okay, bye guys. So what I'm actually doing, that I want to actually close the vlog with, I forgot. Do you want to come in and show them, Bossy? Oh, are you zooming in? Yeah. Okay. Zoom all the way out. I already did. Okay, now come here. Okay. No, what I'm actually doing is, you can show his hand if you want to. Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Lincoln bited the scab off. He like well, yes, that too. So Lincoln bit the scabs off his fingers, but he, ah, uh -uh, lady, no. Um, he tripped. Inside. For those of you that may not know, <coughs> Lincoln oh, tripped into the hot fireplace. The downstairs one. Yep, and he got pretty severely burned on his hands. Luckily, the um. This cream I've been putting on him has been really, really helping him. All right, say goodnight, everybody. Boston, that means you. Good night. Good night. Good night.